So I'm at an apartment complex in Tampa, Florida, in a pretty high removal here. But uh, you can see them going in and out of that board right there. So yeah, the multi-tool comes into a comes into play here. I'll expose them and. Uh, I don't do heights well usually, but uh, we'll see how this works out. You know, it's it can be an issue being that high up, having to deal with this stuff, especially by yourself. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right, so I got use my multi tool. I got at uh, what Harbor Freight and uh, open this little section of the wall up the external wall of these apartments and expose this small yet beautiful group of bees look at that Well, I hate to vacuum these too, you know, it's uh, it's one of those coin toss situations and I'm up on a ladder so I'm almost tempted to bring the vacuum up here, but I, I, yeah, I may have to vacuum them because um, shuttling comb up and down this ladder full of bees is not really what I want to do because, you know, I have to have sort of a free hand. So, uh, I'm going to opt for the uh, vacuum cleaner in this one right now, just because I'm this high up, otherwise I wouldn't. So on looking at this area, um, there's next to this um, <clears throat> stud, there's another opening over here, and you can tell there's old comb in there. They probably poisoned them at one point, because you can see that's pried up, and uh, there's old comb in there. That's I'm sure that's probably what they did, but uh, that is pretty much unoccupied, as you can see, except for that bee hanging out in there. That's not the queen, is <laughs> No, but um, wouldn't that be a trip if that was the queen? So anyway, what I'm going to do is, uh, no, it's not. What I'm going to do is spray honeybee gone very carefully in there and also in this little opening right there and also I'm going to fill in this gap because what happens when you start removing bees they start falling down there and there would be a lot of nurse bees that are kind of con confused and disoriented so uh, I'm going to try to cover this whole area right here to where they just fall right here instead of all the way down there <clears throat> and uh, I may spray some honey be gone very carefully well there's no need to that's their space right there they're probably not gonna go anywhere else over here but I'm gonna spray it in there in there and then cover that so the bees can't fall very deep down in this area and perhaps be lost for good, you know, if they are too disoriented. As you can see, I uh, sealed up that hole to save any young nurse bees from falling down in there forever. And uh, I sprayed in that gap so they can't run in there. And I sprayed Honey Be Gone in that area, a former home of some other colony. Uh, that's so they can't cross over and be tempted to run in there, especially the queen. I don't want to have to saw into other parts of the wall. Uh, so, hopefully I don't have to saw the rest of this out of the way. So, because um, I think the comb, of course, is attached a little further up there, and I'll see what I can do without having to saw anymore. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a top bar removal. In fact, <laughs> these have been laying around in my van. I need to straighten these uh, hardware cloth stabbers out. Uh, but here's one that um, I stabbed the uh, comb onto. Beautiful, eh? 
and I shook the bees off the comb before I did it you know, so it'll be a lot less casualties in fact I don't know if there's been any casualties on this removal it's been very clean and goes it's gone very well look at all the uh, uncapped brood in there glistening in the royal jelly and whatever else they put you know whatever that mixture is <laughs> oh man ah uh, anyway <clears throat> All right, that's that. And that's a smaller piece of comb that I put to the side for now because I need to make sure I have enough bars and uh, I'll find a place for it uh, regardless. Oh, and there's the bees I vacuumed all doing well in there. I did a cursory look for the queen in there. I didn't see her yet. Uh, she may not be in there. She may still be up there. So uh, I'll deal with that comb later. And, uh, the comb's coming out of there easy, and uh, there's my smoker on hand just in case I need it. I haven't used it yet. So I did vacuum these combs, but they're filling back up with comb, I mean with bees. Um, so what I've been doing is kind of wiggling this comb and releasing it from the ceiling. Uh, that that way I don't have to cut that piece of wood right there and it's in its new comb so it's coming apart really well from the ceiling cleanly. Maybe we'll get lucky and see the queen right here. Okay, there's two combs, long combs hanging down. I've been very carefully kind of twisting them, uh, well, you know, like rocking them back and forth, and they've been breaking free from the top very cleanly because I can't get all the way up there, and I would rather not cut that other section. So, uh, hey, uh, you may see the queen later on in this video that I don't see her now. But I'm looking through the uh, lens, too, and I don't see her in that whole pile. I'm sure she's in the middle. That's just what I suspect. She's probably up there in the midst of that. But uh, I'm about to uh, take these two combs down and place them in the top bar nuke. And uh, it's been a perfect fit. Uh, it's been working out well. So I'm glad I opted for that. It's been a long time since I've done a top bar removal. I'm, I'm about due anyway. So those combs were hanging down so low that uh, if I were to uh, put the full extension on, you know, my uh, top bar right there with the uh, hardware cloth stabber, uh, it would touch the floor. It's just too long, so I had to uh, cut it in half. And what I'm going to do, and by the way, I shook the bees off so I could stab them on these comb on safely. But I normally do this with two hands, of course, but. I try to get that as close to the top as possible so they can repair it as soon as possible. And then I just push it down, and uh, just like so. And uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the top. You try, always try to keep the comb oriented to how, just how they had it in their uh, original hive up and down because of the way they build the cells. And, uh, So there we go, and make sure it's aligned properly. Of course, if I didn't have the phone in my hand, I could push it on a little bit better than that, which I will do. But that's basically it. Look at those eggs. Look at that. I think those are eggs, and then very young larvae. Yeah, there's some eggs in there on the left, and then very, very young larvae. A little bit of pollen. See the orange pollen? Gorgeous. And I love it that this comb is just old enough to where it's not collapsing on me. You know, it's aged uh, several weeks. Of course, look at the age of the brood. 
you know, that's cat brood, so do the math. It's at least that old. Um, so anyway, there's only one comb left up there, and a bunch of bees uh, huddled on the to where they built their comb onto at the top. So I'll deal with that probably with the vacuum cleaner. There's some of the bees I've already vacuumed in the holding tank with vents, of course, so they can breathe. All right, so I'm gonna lower this in here. Again, I know I noticed another cluster on this bucket, which I hadn't even used that bucket for anything, but the cluster was right there on that little screen. So I looked closer and the queen, sure enough, was in the middle of them. And uh, I have her in the clip. Let's see if I can get a good sunlight shot of her. Yep, there she is at the top. Now she's at the uh, very bottom. Cool. Well, all right then. My job here is done, folks. Well, you know, for all intents and purposes. Look, oh, there's still some bees I have hanging out in the uh, vacuum bucket. I was looking for the queen in there originally, and that's when I noticed that cluster there. Plan, I already have the queen in the hive. Uh, she's on one of the top bars in the queen clip. So what I'm gonna do is go up there and spray honey be gone in that area right there just to keep any bees from flying back up there because I'm about to do the reunited and it you know feels so good deal and uh, I don't want when I dump these bees in on top of this hive I don't want them flying back up there and getting in that crevice again or that uh, you know that same area they were okay all right, so here goes a little bit of honey be gone. Not too much, though. And they're going to start piling out of here. Okay, now it's reunited and it feels so good. All right, I'll spare you all. Okay, now the, you know, you can see them, they're orienting to this hive, but see their original hive is way up there. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get that my uh, little giant ladder and prop it up into a giant A-frame. And then put this hive on top of it as close to their original hive as I can. Sound like a good plan? I think so, as you can see. I prop the ladder up into an A-frame and you know it's still a good what five or six feet below their original spot but much better than being on the ground and uh, there's a few curious bees flying around in the air but none are in that uh, gap because I sprayed honey be gone up in there and they have no interest in landing 
So, they are presently orienting to my hive and I'm just waiting till nightfall. Okay, here we are the next morning in my backyard. <laughs> 